you saw the thumbnail, you know what's coming. Our brand new, not brand new, new to us. It's a used unit, John Deere MoCo W260. I think that's the bigger of the newer MoCos, self-propelled, that John Deere makes. But not only that, you know, we're still calving today. And guess what? Bulls caught up yesterday. You saw that happen. But this morning we had one, two, three more bulls. So we're at 60 bulls in the last two or three days. Bulls have really come back strong. Let's go, boys. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty excited for this moco showing up. We've been waiting dead, bought it in December. And look at him. Look how, look at the excitement. He's so juiced. He's infatuated. Juiced about what? The moco. Oh, I don't get to run it anyway. Jeff's pretty much laid claim to it. He's oh. like so stoked to run it that I don't think you and I will ever get to drive oh, it. Oh, he just set up shop. <clears throat> he just like yeah. talking about where his dog's going to sit. And Put the stake down. Claimed it. His dog's run sitting in there. I I wish I could be that dog. So you can probably run it some. Just today when it's here before yeah, Jeff get a, gets a hold of you it. You can drive it from spot A to spot B. Change filters on it. Mm -hmm. Do the maintenance. To, move it to the pressure washer. Clean it up. Yeah. We bought it as is. We Saved a bunch of money not having them so found change out, filters. So there's a thing they call recon when they get stuff in at a dealership. How much recon they figure they're going to have to do on it. And I knew the people that owned it before, so I guess I'm kind of taking a chance on what they said and how they represented it to me. And recon was uh, 6000 bucks, so I didn't spend that money. I figure we can clean it up, we can change filters on it, we can put new blades on it. And we'll see how that goes. The recon's a little excessive anymore with the shop rates that the dealerships get, I think. So. Did I ever tell you about the time? Oh, Dad's got a story again. I was at the convenience store in Mount Vernon, and a guy walked in. It was a summer day, and he says to me, uh, do you... Do they have any 80, 90 gear lube here? He had was pulling a trailer and he needed some gear lube for his axles on his trailer. And I said, no, they don't have any here. Well, I'll just go over to the John Deere dealer right there. And he, I said, that's a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> they got more machinery than sometimes it looks like than the actual dealership does. But yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Also, this. that shirt might be showing, if you saw on the community page, there's a brand new Brian Sonny. That's all I gotta say about that shirt out right now. Uh, I, I I don't know if we. It's supposed to be coming in the mail, so you can show it off to everybody. I gotta wear one. Yeah, we got it in your Isn't size. That too much Brian. No, it's the perfect amount of Brian. Double the Brian. Right oh, Brian. so you don't think you're getting enough Brian? Nah, it's for the people. <laughs> it's for the people. Yeah, so check that out, Farm Focus. Link below. But like I said, we got three bull claves to better that. Do process process. We gotta do the things the we shots do. Shots and the gel and the tag and, and, the, and the, yep. All right, let's do it. Okay. Next to the sick medicine, we got Brian's medicine. Perks him right up in the morning. Part three. Oh, that's thirty three. Okay. I don't want to do her again. Okay. That was the one that we had to shove in the <laughs> side by side yesterday. So. We didn't die. She meant business. Oh, her camp's right here. Yes. That's 983? Yeah, I got her. Okay. That was an easy one. Is the difficulty going to get harder? Well, it ain't going to get any easier than that. That's, um, is there a cow along the trees there? Back. That one looks new, don't it? Right there? I got three stuff. Grab the stick, okay? She is out. No. She's. I don't think the cow's a problem. Two claves done. Blocked and loaded. Is the other one still up there, you think? I think so. It's a nice looking cow. Oh, okay. The owner of state are welcome. Do you think that cow said, now I want my privacy? Privacy. Yeah. You can go now. Oh, the lighting's horrible, but that twin calf that we grafted onto that other cow, it's sucking right now, after, which is a win for the sunny frames. After about three days of putting it in the head gate and having her kick at us and the calf, this morning when I came out, I was thinking about putting her in the head gate, 
and she turned and she mooed at the calf and I was like oh that's different because that's like hey danger come here son daughter or haven't decided yet slave there's three now there's okay. boy, boy girl and haven't decided I don't know what to say man <laughs> it's a thing it is that's all there is to it so yeah that is amazing she slipped her calf we call it mm -hmm. before it was mature mature and so she had it way out in the cornfield and we just so happened that we were there was a fella coming to pick this calf up that day because we didn't have any cow for it well then he called and he said he had a cow that had twins and so he didn't need the calf and, and i said that's fine we don't need you to buy it if and then we found out that we lost a calf premature. We were a little worried about if the cow had milk because the calf wasn't fully developed yet. But as we were chasing it up in the sideways rain, I was on the four-wheeler. I could see milk squirting out of her bag as she was running because it was flopping, kind of like D. And I thought, oh, she's got Big milk. floppy bag. Well, she didn't want this calf. No they, truck just arrived. We put her in a small pen and with the calf and they were like opposite corners of each other just not want me not even recognizing each other but after a few days of headgate yeah. but look at that just standing there taking it take it and she's thinking uh cold talk too loud i'm gonna move now <laughs> I hate when we get those little pieces of hay in my eye hole. It doesn't feel good in the eye hole. Don't want hay in the eye hole. Mm -mm. Getting oil changed. Where are you? There he is. Uh, Lefty Lucy. Oh, yeah. I feel like you didn't tighten this one last year, Dad, because it was pretty easy. Yeah. You think that's going to burn me from morning chores? It'll be all right? It'll be hot. Oh, it's been real fast. Blaze it. There we go. How much do you think John Deere would charge to? change oil on tractors they do they even do that oh i'm sure they do it that's just a waste of time you know when my older brother greg worked at the co-op in rock valley he said all the farmers around the area would drive their tractors to town and get their oil changed huh. i hadn't heard of such a thing because we always i i never had anybody change oil on our tractors mm -hmm. other than us i suppose you grew up a little less poor yeah a little more, more, poor. A little more. <laughs> absolutely plus i'm norwegian so we don't spend money yeah but that's a dutch community i'm surprised they spend the money on but it keeps their cynics open and ours is closing so there's that you're holding the jugs with them that's the best way to do no it. it's not because now you got you think you're empty but you're three-fourths full yet yeah but at least i'm not air locking it and it's not going you're good at that. Thanks. Does that mean I'll give Dad a compliment so I don't have to do anything? Okay. Want me to do it? You got it. Stick. No, he's good. He's good. Later today, our friend Ryan, who person that deals with big iron I don't know what the wording is it's coming out taking pictures and video of this put it on that auction so we're just gonna get that hooked up make sure it runs ran just fine yesterday oh my lanta here she comes Woo it's okay Ellie it's ours that is amazing.
Oh my Atlanta. This is crazy. I mean, look, they got windows all the way around, 360 degrees. Throttle, here we go. Holy Moses. Does it turn sharp? I've heard this is hard driving down the road, and I'm going about four mile an hour, and you turn, and you're, dang, you're doing a 360 degree. Oh, my Atlanta. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm going to have to find a buddy. Anybody want to be my buddy? That is insane. This is awesome. And it's somewhat clean actually. W260. Got a 16 foot head on the front, 500R. And as you can see, the sucker's used and that's how we bought it. Um, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to replace some blades before we start. That thing is duller, more dull. That thing's more dull than a white lady's potato salad. This is the first time, this is the closest I've ever been to one of these. I've never even walked around one, I don't think. It's it's massive. It's way bigger than I thought. There are two new tires on the back. And actually, the front tires, those are brand new tires and their new rims even. Because the people that traded this off, they had super, they had bigger singles on there. And they wanted to keep those tires and rims. So that's why it took so long for us to get it. Because they wanted to keep their tires but they couldn't bring this out to us until we had the new tires on it. Some water to run and then I'm sure dad will be excited to look at the new Moco. Huh? Have you even looked at it yet? No. What's wrong with you? How is it? <laughs> You're doing great. Thanks. Look what I can do. I'm so proud of you being able to turn this camera on. <laughs> I always wonder what button it is. There's two. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I clicked right today. What? There he is, the man of the hour. Mm, I don't know. Guess what showed up today? What? That Moco. Oh, yes. I drove it, and it's very hard. Very hard? Yeah. I was going like three mile an hour. I turned the wheel just a little bit. You start doing 360s. <laughs> <laughs> is it like this, or is it? It's a steering wheel. It is? Okay. Yeah. Just a little overreactive. Uh -huh. It's kind of like driving in NASCAR, 200 mile an hour. <laughs> we gotta go, Jefferino. Okay. Uh, Ryan's coming over, so good. just want the world to see my brother Jeff because. Why are you pointing at the corner of the gator? I'm here. There you go. This is Dad's longtime friend Ryan. Quite their production. All right, go ahead. Do your worst. We're with my old buddy Ryan Youngstrom. We've known each other forever. Just thinking back, you know, he used to come help me harvest a little. I come help you work cattle, haul cattle for you when you sold cattle. Been buddies for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah. I used to come up here and help him all day too. Yep. What's the most fun we ever had together? I would say one night when, um, or it's actually an all day thing. We had a, a bull that broke its leg. Oh. And we had to go shoot the bull. And then we had to drive a tractor 24 miles so we could load the bull up in the back of the trailer so we could take it to town and, and get some hamburger meat. Ryan had a couple bulls fight in the big old bull out in pasture a long ways from home, broke its leg. And he calls me up and he goes, I can't shoot it. Well, I sell bulls, and I thought if I shoot the bull, I can probably sell another bull. So I volunteered to shoot the bull. But we no more and got the bull shot, and we were going to load it in the trailer to take it to the blocker. And as soon as we shot it, it just poured, started pouring rain. It poured the rest of the day. Yeah. All day and and day. you try loading a limp 2,000 pound bull in a livestock trailer, that was tough. But the funny part was, go ahead. Oh, well, we weren't man enough. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny part was, we took it to Mitchell, and uh, we were soaking wet. And we pulled up to your folks' place and walked in the door soaking wet. And 
and Ryan says to his mom, who's in her 80s at the time, we need two dry shirts. And she just laughed, she never asked. And I thought to myself, how many situations have you put your mother through in a lifetime that you can just say something like that and she just takes it and yep. goes with it? Yep. <laughs> she got us the shirts. Yeah. Anyway, about 12 or 14 hours later, we did find our way back home that day. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Barely. I remember the time also that we took your boat to the down by Wagner somewhere. Yeah. And we got to the lake and the boat wouldn't start and we ended up putting a new starter in with that day, I think. That's right, we did. Yeah. 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 At least you weren't out on the water when you learned that. Yeah, right. Floating around. Oh. But remember? So then that one time you got the boat back from getting worked on and you decided to take it to Twin Lakes and try it out. Oh, yeah. And it stalled out in the lake. Yeah. And then what? You called me to come get here. So I can't remember what the deal was, but I ended up up there. I had more trouble with that thing. Yeah. So, the uh, moral of that story is don't own a boat, have a friend that owns a boat. <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Gonna be a nasty one. You gonna hop up in there and drive it? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, let's go. Anything about this thing? It's a 2016? Yes, I do okay. actually have some vital information. Uh huh. This machine cuts hay and puts it in a small swath so you can bale it. It is not a combine. Nope. All right. You do not. Just so you know, Tiffany. You do not separate the corn from the cob. Is there another header going down the curve again? Jeff Arino. Oh. Jeff? Jeff is coming to look at it. He's smiling. Oh yeah. What do you think? It's big. It is big. It's bigger than I thought. Looks like a miniature combine. <laughs> That's a man that knows how to run a moco, looking at the blades. Yep. They're they're pretty bad. Yep, they are. They yep. I yep. cannot for the life of me figure out how to pump the the seat up with air. It's right there, isn't it? Isn't that right there? No, that's like tilt. Oh, there's a button. Oh, you found it? Well, yeah. My uncle's hands between my legs. Oh, that's right. <laughs> For the tilt? It, it's got the big wiper, you see, the big wiper, yeah. and then it's got the little baby wiper also. I'll be darned. Yeah. It's such a big windshield. I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's how you know it's a fancy unit. Mm -hmm. Got the dual wipage. Protect me with this weapon. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. You did it. Mm -hmm. um, Is that tag in its ear good? Yeah. Oh. Mm. <sighs> we win. That was intense. Like like camping. Oh. Ah, See if we got more claves in the corn field. Claves in the corn. The cats in the cradle and the claves in the corn. I think I'm going to get... A copyright strike on that. That sounded so close to the real song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Hope you hit that subscribe button if you're new here and you enjoyed the video. We're about into busy season. Not that calving isn't busy, but haying, planting, got a lot going on. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. What are you doing? I'm making a sippy cup for me. Hmm. That's all I got to say. <laughs>